Hello, hello. Young plasterers. Not so young plasterers. How are we? I've had a DM from a member of the uh, Facebook group Trial Talk, which is my Facebook group um, that's been put together to help plasterers of all experience levels. So whether you're um, an apprentice at college or you're on the verge of retirement, the idea of Trial Talk is to create a brotherhood where all us blasters can all band together and help each other instead of taking the piss out of each other and uh, being arseholes to one another. So if that's something that interests you, jump on Facebook, join up and uh, there's freebies on there, there's loads of knowledge, it's, it's a great gang of lads and ladies. Um, <laughs> It's a positive space for you to share your work and your ideas without having the piss taken out of you and without having your post um, torn down by idiots. So anyway, I'm going off topic. The idea of the video is, uh, so someone's DM'd me, a young lad, um, and he's doing a few years behind the trial working in a gang and um, obviously he's qualified and everything. He's quite confident in most areas of plastering. He wants to start up on his own. He said to me, well, he asked me, how do you know when you're ready? How do you know when you're ready to start your own plastering business? The truth of it is, is you don't know. Um, you know in your heart if it's something you want to do, um, if there's a discontentment and there's, there's a niche that needs to be scratched, so to speak, um, if it's something you feel in your heart that you want to do it, go and do it. Start it, do it. Um, you'll have, you know, some people will be behind you and encourage you, um, but unfortunately a lot of people won't. So you need to be real, real careful of who you um, get advice from um, and who you decide to get to go to for guidance because not everybody is going to be waving your flag and warning you to to do well what tends to happen is when you tell work colleagues and and people that don't run their own businesses what they when you say i want to start my own business i think they they sort of envision themselves starting their, their own business and it, they might feel scared so because they can't see themselves doing it they might not necessarily be able to see you doing it if you understand so just because you get negative feedback from family or from a few friends don't take it to heart just say oh, okay thanks thanks for your opinion and um, move move on and don't let it scare you off just make sure you ask people that are in business and that are self-employed their thoughts and not just your mates and your family because they might not necessarily be the best people although they love you and they've got you you know your best interests at heart they might not be the best people to talk to about this you need to be speaking to lads that are self-employed um, and business owners so that's the first thing i'd say and then in terms of the actual tools being on the tools how do you know if you're ready to start your own plastering business if you, you know in terms of skills hand skills well you know if you're working unsupervised you're ready you know if you can work the straight edge what i do when i train my lads i say once you can knock up this is only my thing after i do it's not you know it's not written in any law i'm sure other people have other opinions what i do is i say once you can knock up a one bag bucket on your own and apply that finish blaster whether that's multi finish board finish whatever it is one bag bucket knock it up if you can put that on comfortably on your own without feeling stressed you're ready but the main thing is working that straight edge make sure you can work the straight edge learning to skim 
onto a plasterboard. Um, it's great. It's good. It's a good skill. It takes time to learn that, and it's not an easy skill, despite what people say of plasterers. You know, skin monkeys and all this bollocks. Um, ignore all that. Don't worry about that. Learning to skim is difficult. It's not easy. So, you know, if you have recently learned how to skim onto a plasterboard, then uh, be proud of it. Be proud of that, that you can do that. Because it's not, it's not something you learn in a few, mid, a few hours. It's, uh, it's a good skill. Skimming's difficult and it's, uh, you know, it's a good skill to have. So, but that's not enough. And that's where the criticisms come in from plasterers because, and they're right, just because you can skim a plasterboard doesn't mean that you're a plasterer. Okay, so in terms of going out on your own, uh, how do you know when you're ready? Skimming a bit of board or over skimming a wall um, is different to being a plasterer. They're, they're two different things. So um, to become a, a fully experienced plasterer, you need to be able to work that straight edge. Um, you need to be able to have experience in a number of different um, backgrounds. Bonding coat, hard wool, sand and cement, screed, external renders, but that's not always necessary. That's what they're a relatively new thing. Um, but again, it will go back to the, the working and super. If you've been in a gang, if you're working in a gang and you work unsupervised and you're doing a lot of different things, not just skimming overboard, um, then you're probably ready. But the main thing is knowing in your heart if you're ready, um, you'll get negative feedback. You won't get negative feedback on my group because the group's built for young plasterers that want to go solo and also self-employed plasterers that need support as well. So jump on to Trial Talk you'll get a lot of support, my blog's on there, um, I've just finished the blog post called The Fisherman which will teach you how to market your business online with no money, um, I'll be doing a lot of other posts including Bootstrapper which will talk about how do you go from being employed to self-employed to running your own business with no money, if you've got no money what do you do? So I'll talk about that. Um, there's another blog post on there called Going Out Alone. All this stuff is going to be very helpful for you if you're considering starting up your own plastering business or if you run a plastering business and you need help, you need uh, guidance. Um, I'm not trying to come across as an Alan Sugar character or a Richard Branson character. Um, I'm not a millionaire, I'm a plasterer. Uh, started off as a labourer and built a plastering business. I'm a sole trader, but I do good, I do well. So, um, if, if you're looking to make millions of pounds and you know take over the world, I'm not your man. Uh, but if you want to build a successful plastering business and have a, a couple of lads working for you and be busy, then I can help you out. So, join Trial Talk, get to know the members, they're a top group of blokes. You won't have the piss taken out of you. Um, you won't be criticised if you make an error or show show some of your work and it's not quite up to scratch but you will get guidance and you will get correction um, but the main thing you'll get is encouragement so I hope you've enjoyed the video please join Trial Talk and um, catch up soon cheers guys